Creighton and Xavier right here at DJ Soko Arena in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm John Schreiner. That's Rob Sims. Pink out game. The eighth annual here for Creighton. First half. Hey, Xavier started this game off really well, Rob. Really well held Creighton to its lowest scoring first quarter of the season. Dribble drive and finishing at the rim. A lot as we see here. And uh, really taking advantage of the path to the basket where they outscored Creighton in this game, 34 to 18 in the paint. Excellent first half performance by Xavier. Looked like he might be headed for another game, kind of like the one these two played earlier in the season when they went to overtime. The Blue Jays stayed in it by shooting both from the outside. Well, you see Olivia Elger knocking one down there. You heard Coach Blanner talk about how impressive she was tonight. 11 of her 12 points on the night came in the second quarter. And then in the second half, pretty much all Blue Jays. Xavier, outside of a, a couple of moments, really didn't shoot the ball too well after the break. Yeah, they started well in the third quarter, but Green made an adjustment to prevent some dribble drives like this one. It really limited those opportunities at the bucket while Creighton continued to, to shoot at a torrid pace, ended up shooting 50% from the outside. Four Blue Jays into double figures in this one. Jalen Agnew had nine rebounds, and Sid Lambert had nine assists to go along with her 13 points. And they just ran away in the fourth. Finally pulled away in a close game, and no overtime necessary. Creighton gets the 65-54 win. Moves into a tie for third place with Villanova as we head down the stretch in Big East play.